Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bryce and today is March 15th, 16th, I don't remember. Um, I literally just got out of bed. Um, I've been recovering from a cold, if you can tell. A little stuffed up yet, but I'm feeling a lot better than I did. Um, yeah, it's, it's March. It's, uh, people are in the fields. It's pretty crazy. That was Adam, the first club. He just had to invite. So, coming here to get out of the wind in here with the calves. And, uh, they've gotten pretty big since the last time you saw them. Um, these two Holsteins got some horns here. Might have to deal with that here shortly, get rid of them um, before they get too big. Um, but little guy here, he's getting weaned off of milk right now. Um, so I'm only giving him milk once a day instead of twice a day. And um, once that bag of milk replacer is gone, he's done. And that's grain and hay from here on out. Um, got quite a bit of bed pack in here I'm going to have to fork out. Whew. I had to go and buy, I ran out of small squares, so I had to buy two big squares. Um, I'm not going to use them all up here, but uh, I had to get some more. So yeah, I built this little gate too. I don't know if you saw that. I got rid of that cattle panel and it just swings over and whatnot. So yeah, I'll give them some grain here, do my morning chores. That wind is just whipping out there. Not very good for filming, but uh, they broke one of my cups off. So I guess we'll just have two of these little pans in here and then I got a pan outside. So I'll just put some more in that one. I kind of got it. I'm kind of trying to measure this out. I'm giving them little less than half a five gallon pail twice a day so like this much twice a day and then we'll just slowly increase that that's kind of how i have it measured out little more something like that to go outside so yeah there, there's a feed pan over here on the ground just put the grain in there they got hay here that they eat and then their water's right here look at that they didn't shit in it today that's good good job boys proud of you there's adam you can see him over there putting on an hydrus Aiden's home today pulling tanks. You got to, once the anhydrous tanks get empty, they got to drive all the way to Plainview and uh, get them refilled and get a full one and or whatever they do and then pull it all the way back. And yeah, that's what Aiden's doing today. Maybe I'll go and ride with them. We'll find out. But I'll show you what I want to get accomplished here today. So, whoa, pigeons. I'm going to have to go find a BB gun. Anyways, so as you guys may or may not know, this is the Farms 2600 uh, Ford that I brought up here last year, put a blade on it to move snow. And um, worked good, and I had it up here again this year, and I didn't use it once, obviously, because we had no snow, which I didn't mind at all. So I want to bring this back to the farm and go get my dad's 3600 so my dad has a 3600 pretty much identical to this except it has a loader on it and he's got a snowblower for it and uh since he has bought in a skid loader which he's wanted for a while he said that the 3600 could come up to my place and i could use it for stuff that i want to use it for uh loader would be pretty handy for around here just doing odd jobs and stuff um not that i'm going to be using it like a bulldozer or anything but it would be handy and like i said he's got a snowblower for it that he's letting me bring up here um so gonna do the old switcheroo bring this back to the farm and go get that at my dad's and then bring that up here and that's what i want to do today 
So yeah. So I have my day planned out in my head already, okay? So I want this straw bale to go to the farm, my grandma's. That's where our big heavy trailer is that I want to use to haul these two tractors. So I'm going to take my pickup, pull this bale to the farm, dump this trailer, and then hook up to the other trailer, drive to my dad's, get his tractor, bring it up here, dump that tractor, grab that tractor, and bring it back to the farm and dump the trailer where I picked it up at. See? Makes sense. I got it figured out. And I'm going to be using my pickup. Everybody's asking, where's your pickup? What did you do with your pickup? It's still here, but I don't use it a lot. Um, and believe it or not, the batteries are dead. So, going to have to put the charger on it. I just, I guess I've grown up and I don't like driving my pickup every day. I like driving my my more fuel efficient car. So, find an extension cord here and wait a while, I guess. Oh, looky there, there's Aiden. He might just come up and see me. Well, got the batteries charging on here. Shut the hood so the wind don't whip it and rip it off. And just called Aiden and he said he's gonna come get me and we'll go for a round phone and hydrous tanks with them. Well, he picked me up. I had to put a stocking hat on. It's a little, little brisk out. How you doing? Brisk. Brisk. So what are, what are these? Those are called anhydrous tanks. Okay. And they hold nitrogen. All right. It goes and you, into the soil. And that's what your dad's doing is knifing it into the ground. <laughs> yep. So that's what we're doing today. I'm just yanking them around and filling them up. So this is your second and last trip. Yep. And your grandpa made two trips. Yep, we've been pulling them around to, out to the fields all morning and stuff, so. We get to keep these five doubles for the whole spring. They were assigned to you. Yep. And then you just got bigger singles to help get you through the weekend? Yeah, since they're only open till noon. Okay. They dropped them off here so we could use them. The whole shebang. Yeah. Don't forget your lights. Yeah, these are these are pretty big. Once you get up close to them, I never have been up close to a double like this. Wow. How much do these weigh full? The doubles? 18,840. Holy crap. 9,400 empty, so there's 90 something hundred. How fast can you go? Like 50. Oh. That ain't bad. With the trike frame or whatever, you can pull them off faster. Four wheel ones, you can only pull those at 35. There's Aiden's grandpa. Hey, Jim. We're there. Across the scale. I like driving through other people's co-ops and looking at all of their equipment. It's pretty cool. Just to compare, you know, see who's got the better stuff. Look at all those rigs. Wow. So yeah, here's all the other anhydrous tanks here. And then these are the big tanks that they fill from. So this is the main staging area, I guess you can call it. They just pull around and hook a hose up and fill her up, right? Yep. 
Got her loaded. How long do you think that took? 10 minutes? Yeah, 10 minutes. 10 minutes to fill her up, now we're gonna head back. All right, so I'm back up here at my pickup and we're gonna see if the batteries are juiced up enough to start here. So, give her a glow plug. Sounds good, sounds good. Oop. Let's give her one more round of glow plugs here. She ought to go. Hasn't been started in probably two or three weeks. There she went. There she went. I had faith. See you later. Well, got the pickup all warmed up here. Um, remember how I said I wanted to bring that straw bale and that snowmobile trailer over to the farm? Well, I did, but uh, I forgot that that had the small light plug-in, and I don't have an adapter to fit my pickup, so I just didn't want to pull it over with no lights, no turn signals, so have to do, have to do that another day with the car. But uh, we're on the way to the farm to get the heavy trailer, and then we're gonna head into town. I gotta get some oil because we're gonna change the oil in this tractor before it comes over to my place. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to move this girl to get to the trailer. Hopefully she starts. I'm assuming that was parked in front of here for a reason, to prevent theft. All right, now I'm gonna try and back up and believe this is my ball and get out of here. God, I'm good. Lights work, that's good. Double check, chains are on, breakaways on, that's on. We're ready to rip. All right, so I made it to Fleet Farm here. See, I parked like a boss here. Only took up one, two, three, four, five spots. Not too bad. Um, but like I said, we want to change the oil in that tractor before we bring it up to my place, so I'm going to get some oil here and then we'll head up to the dance. That's what we want. Let's get out of here and not look at anything else. Oh, that was scary. I locked my pickup when I went in the store. I never locked my pickup. Took the keys with me, obviously, but my lock was so seized up, I put the key in wouldn't turn, wouldn't turn, wouldn't turn. Finally it went, but I thought I was gonna have to walk over to that tow truck and have them break in for me. Oh my goodness. All right, let's get out of here. Wasn't feeling good. Nope.
All right, well, here she is. I don't know if any of you guys have seen this tractor before, but this is my dad's 3600. Um, I remember when my dad bought this tractor. It didn't look like this. We actually lived in town when he bought this, and he restored it in our town garage, painted it and everything. Um, him and my gram, him and his dad, my grandpa worked on this together, and it's special to him. And it's kind of cool that he's letting me take it over to my place. But uh, just getting the oil changed, and yeah. All right, got her loaded up. See her there behind me, taking her home. outside and I made it home and I got her unloaded there she sits I'm gonna get the 2600 out now I'm not gonna load it up tonight I forgot I promised the girlfriend I'd take her on a date tonight so I better not stick her up and I'm gonna go get cleaned up and you know do that thing so here they are side by side 2600 3600 um, I believe they made these all the way up to a 6600. Don't quote me. I, I just that's what sounds right in my head. So just a little nice utility tractors. Um, like I said, this one was my grandpa's, the farms, and then this was my dad's. Um, yeah, so this will be really nice to have around here. We got a snowblower, so that'll be really nice if we get some snow next year. Which I'm sure we will. Yeah, like I said, guys, um, running out of time here, so these are just gonna sit here and uh, I'm probably gonna end the video. So I hope you liked it. Uh, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you wanna see more. 